Let me introduce you now to Mary Seaver and a couple of her children. Hi, Mary. Nice to have you on our show today. Hi, Heather. Great to be here. Quillen. Thanks. Good morning, Quillen. Give us a big wave, Quillen. <laughs> Give us a big wave, Siobhan. And then there are uh, four other kids in the, in the family with your children. And uh, I would like you, Mary, if you could, we were looking at the house when it was before. Give us the after. Can you reveal it? Sure, yeah. Well, um, our house, we've owned it for a little over 16 years. It's a very old house. It's um, about uh, 112 years old. I, I could be off on the years, but it's a pretty old house. Right. And I, I'm not quite sure how old the, um, the old paint job had been, but it was that color um, before we bought it and we were doing other renovations. So we didn't get around to painting it, but that was, that's been on our minds since the start is to paint our house. Okay. We haven't really decided um, on a color that we wanted to paint it. Um, and then we came up, I mean, Kim was kind of inspired by some stairs, um, like on, on a house a couple blocks over okay. uh, a few years ago and um, suggested, hey, why don't we paint it rainbow? And so we decided <laughs> to do that. Okay, well, wait, just pause. Just give us the big reveal. Why choose one color when you can do all the beautiful colors of the rainbow? Show us, turn us around and let us see it, Kim, if you sure. could, Mary. Okay. Okay. So there there it is now. The Seaver home is now the Rainbow home. Yes, it is. How long did it take you to do this, Mary? Well, this took about 25 hours. We actually still have a second coat on the um, one side in the back uh -huh. to do, but everything else, you know, has got a, they've got a couple of coats. And yeah, it took about 25 hours. Kim's the one who did the paint job, and I'm the one who paid for it. Kim is, <laughs> Kim's your spouse. He did the work, and you were doing the payment. Uh, don't let the kids go too far, because I want to ask them what they think about this. But tell me the story. Okay. I mean, obviously, there's obviously a pride theme here, and there's a pride story to all of this. What, what is the, the real story behind this decision? Well, the real story is honestly that we wanted to paint the house. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we wanted to get it done in time for June um, for Pride Month, um, but this was the plan anyway. Um, three of our children are um, identified, they're LGBTQ. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I mean, so part of this is showing support for the community. Um, Kim also identifies as queer, so you know, like this is part of our family. But honestly, it's it's what we wanted to do. And then Siobhan is a unicorn lover, so you know anybody who loves unicorns loves rainbows. <laughs> so Siobhan, I don't know if you helped out in in the painting of all of this, but what do you think of it? Good. Good. What about you, Quillen? It's good. Good. Your friend, oh, you, I, I bet it, it's the talk of the of the community for sure. And I want to talk about the response to it. But part of the story, as I understand it, too, Mary, was been there's there's been some anti LGBTQ incidents in, in small communities in Alberta, et cetera. And and this was kind of your message back. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, this wasn't really our main intention, mm -hmm. but um, we're glad that it's being received so um, in such a positive way. And yes, I mean. The, this is, you know, I mean, a part of the reality of living in a pretty conservative area um, is that there are going to, there's going to be op opposition. I mean, we've had our, um, our sidewalks painted um, for a few years now for Pride um, downtown um, Lethbridge, and every year they get marked up with um, deliberate skid marks. You know, this isn't just someone making a mistake. It's they're they're doing it. Um, deliberately so you know that's part of it and I know that over the years there have been different incidents and and such and you know people have a lot of um you know a lot of um incidents that they could probably relate have you had uh, have you had anything have, negative have you had anything negative in response to your home not, not terribly I mean we have there, there have been a few online comments from people saying, "Well, it's going to bring down the property values," but I mean, it's it's not. It's actually you know you saw the picture before and everybody saw it. If anything, that would bring down the property value if it's going to do that. But, <laughs> but I mean, it's, it's we dead. even had 
<laughs> Instead, yeah. I understand that you have this parade of people coming by to take pictures and selfies in front of the place. Yeah, there are so many people that come by. They take, they love it. They take selfies, and I mean, our plan was, you know, to hand out skittles for the month of June. Of course, we didn't expect the response that we would get. Like I, you know, honestly, I thought, you know, some people would enjoy it, but there are people that are really, really appreciating this, and and that actually is 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 so, a little bit overwhelming to know that it has such a positive. Um, meaning for so many people and and i mean it, it is important i'm glad that people are feeling that this is warm and welcoming and and also they would know this is a welcoming place for them quillen you think you should keep it like this uh, yeah big nod for all of that yes you're not going to repeat oh here comes some more people out i'm not here sure yeah. who's joining us now <laughs> Our 13 year old, but they're on their way. Do you want to come say hi quickly? Hi. Okay, so I want to see all quickly. the people who live in the rainbow house. This is like the coolest house in the in the country right now. Hello, wave as you're heading back. Hi. This is Ace. Hi, Ace. Ace is our 13 year old, and they're just headed hi. off to school. I'm Heather Ace. Nice to meet you. We're talking to you, your mom about the house. Let me let me ask you, Mary. It's it's Pride Weekend. We're talking about it here in Toronto, of course. Uh, it's back after a, a pause, and people are all together. So, um, what is your message for Pride Weekend? Well, our message is that everyone belongs. Everyone um, is needs to be accepted. I mean, I don't think there should be a question of that, and that we need to have more love, more unity, and more community. And that's one of the main important things. We wanted to bring some color. I mean, we painted this for us, but as it's, it's part of our community and we love where we live. And we, we just want people to know that um, it's important that we all feel connected and unified. Mary, thank you. I really appreciate talking to you. Hi to everybody in the house. And thanks for showing us around. Have a great weekend. Thanks so much, Heather. Thanks, you Mary too. Siebert. Thanks.